Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to today's beer review. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> do a follow up episode from yesterday's. This is Bath Ale's Golden Hair. This is their full flavoured light ale. Now the funny thing about this one is, and a uh, little bit of insider knowledge here, I'm recording these on the same day, but a uh, little bit of knowledge here, they um, they made their light ale stronger than their, uh, what is it called? The dark side. Their stout. Um, I like a light ale, to be fair. I like a pale ale sometimes. Um, I do really like an amber ale. Amber is typically my favourite. Let's have a look what they have to say about this one. Rude for those who know and those who don't. Their uh, flagship from Bath Ales, the uh, Somerset British Brewing Boys. Nice. Golden hair is bursting with flavour and bringing with condition. It's smooth yet dry, wonderfully freshy and delightfully zesty. We brew golden hair using floor malted Maris Otter Barley and the aptly named Golding's Hops. The fi these fine ingredients, plus our brewer's skill and patience, have helped to make golden hair a very rewarding light ale. Fine filtered for quality, it's best stored and served cool. Contains wheat and barley malt, I would hope so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pop the top. The last one was just black, which is quite cool. I did quite like that, but this uh, appears to have some sort of uh, hair on it again. Yeah, this is the golden hair, one of the um, three or four named after a goddamn land runner many fucker or, or a, a hair, as they're known. So yeah, Bath Ales with the uh, the Golden Rabbit. I'll collect these two up. Nice. So uh, yeah, using the Bing Tang glass again. It has been washed, don't worry, I'm not that bad. Now let's get to the paw. Let's have a look how she do. Again, I will put a small head on there. In complete contrast to the other one, this is beautifully light. And appears to be a bit more fizzy by the look. So I'll put a bit of a head on it. As I was saying. I'll leave a bit in the bottle. I'll leave that settling in front of the camera for a moment. Oh. I've had one of those days playing League of Legends today. Let me tell you. It's been, uh, it's been one of the hard ones. I recently just went into uh, a game. I'll tell you the match history. I've got it here. Oh, zero, zero, zero. Wow. It was, uh, it was about a 16-minute game. We just uh, yeah had an AFK, waited for them to push it down. Game previous to that, I went 16-7-24. Game previous to that, 1-6-2. Really just not having a, really not having a good day of it today. That's settled. Um, I will say this is a tad cloudier than I'm expecting. Not not the um, not the clearest beer I've ever seen. Quite translucent. I must apologise. I am developing a bit of a cold, but I will give it a uh, scent test, of course. Ooh, smell that out of the bottle quick. Yeah, really limey flavour. Flavour? Oh, I hope not in my nose. No, really limey smell, to be fair. Yeah, really, really fills the nose with uh, citrus, uh, as well as a, I don't know, more, more of a citrus than a beer flavour is actually what I'm getting, to be fair. The uh, head has again dissipated quite quickly. Obviously it's from a bowl, so, you know, you never know. But yeah, if I pull this up at some height, you can see it froths up to a reasonable level. And it's relatively thick, but uh, not persisting too strong. Right, I'll get into the flavour profiles for you.
very light flavour, got to say it. It's very, um, very reminiscent of something like a, like a very, I'm going to say it's like a very full-bodied Corona in a sense, in terms of lightness. It's really comes through with a lot of, um, a lot of hoppiness. Just as you start sipping. But the finish is very citrusy, very, very light, very uh, Moorish. Could probably be enjoyed with lime, to be honest with you, as well, to uh, accentuate that. Mmm. That's a very Moorish beer, I'm going to say. Definitely. Definitely could be sat here sipping this all night, to be honest with you. There's a good level of bitterness to it, and I think that comes from the higher percentage in this. This is a 4.4 light ale. But it does leave, again, it does leave a bit of bitterness in the throat. The same as the, um, the, uh, what was what it called? Dark side. They've got a distinct, uh, bit of flavour. The, uh, I don't know if it's water or chemical composition of Somerset or something horrible like that, but... Yeah. Bath ales really do make a a bitter a bitter beer. I've got to say, but definitely this comes through very nice. It's light, but it does have a bit of lingering bitterness to it. Um, I do quite like a light ale. I prefer an amber ale, but this is uh, this is this is a really pale colour for the taste. I've got to say, it's 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 almost a mishmash in terms of what you expect. In terms of a rating, I'm going to give this a 40, I think. Just a flat 40. Maybe a 42. Something like a 40. Some, middle, middle low 40 is what I'm feeling on this. Because it, it, it definitely brings a lot of nice flavours, a lot of nice bitterness. A lot of fruitiness and citrus and, and lime scents. But you also... It's a bit conveyed in the flavour as well, in the aftertaste. But it does come through with a really strong hoppy body. Uh, definitely some good flavour profiles on this. Definitely pours quite well. I do quite like the colour. Um, wasn't expecting it to be as cloudy as it is. But, uh, yeah, that's a good drink. That is a good drink. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend it. If you like a light ale, I would say this is something definitely worth trying. Um, if you're a beer fanatic, it's something worth trying. Or if you just fancy getting drunk it's not the worst liquid to uh to use to numb the pain of life so uh cheers ladies and gentlemen and i'll see you tomorrow mm, yummy yummy in my tummy